us, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord.
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious day to the Theotokos, who will be with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in our life unto Christ our God.
Omicron is in the fifth zone. Thou, O Lord, shalt protect us and preserve us from this generation forever. Procimenon is in the fourth tone. He makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. I have written unto you with my own hand, as many as desire to make a good showing in the flesh. These try to compel you to be circumcised, only that they may not suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For not even they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but they desire to have you circumcised that they may glory in your flesh. But God forbid that I should glory except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified unto me, and I unto the world. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy, and upon the Israel of God. From now on let no one trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Brethren, if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed to us by them that heard him? God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit, according to his own will. For he has not put the world to come, of which we speak in subjection to angels, but one testified in a certain place, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels, thou crownedest him with glory and honor, Thou didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we do, see, we do not yet see all things put under him. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, might taste death for every man. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the author of their salvation perfect through sufferings. And to your spirit, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will sing of thy mercies, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim thy truth from generation to generation. Mercy will be established forever, my truth will be prepared in the heavens. Praise 
Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Yes, Father, for 
doing so will please him in thy sight. Our most reverend Archbishop Paul, for the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all our clergy and all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this God protected country as president and all civil authorities and for the armed forces. Again, we pray for the blessed Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and Father's Holy Church. Our father and fathers and brethren, the Orthodox and brothers like before us, and especially the newly departed servants of God, the Archpriest Young, John the Metropolitan Theodosius, Annie, Vic Vicky, Sandra, Yuri, the Metropolitan Amophil Oki, together with Frank, Stephen, Anne, Paul, and Ivan, Nicholas, Gerald, Vivian, Mary, Nicole. Catherine, Olga, Constance, Lorraine, Lila, Mary, Walter, Mary Ann, Nadezhda, and all those we hold in our hearts and our prayers who hear in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visited for the servants of God, Susan, the Archbishop, David, Annie, Michael, Linda, Michael, Rita, Peter, Lorraine, Philip, Nancy, Adele, Rachel, Jacob, Carol, Yorim, Jacob, Maria, Potitin, Cheryl, the Archpriest of Vladimir, Mother Virginia, the Archpriest Eugene, Kathleen, Betty, Jane, Robert, Dimitri, Natalia, Dorothy, Nicholas, Elizabeth, Christopher, Thomas, Janice, William, Kathleen, Luke, Peggy, Elizabeth, Myra, Alexander, Andrew, Victoria, Lazar, Theodosia, Lisa, Edward, Walter, Stephen, Seth, Lorraine, the servants of God, Julia, and Justin, Christine, and Joel, Irene, and Luca, Jane, and Christos, Larissa, and Josh, Ashley, and Joseph, and the children be born unto them. For all those who celebrate their names is the stain. All victims of violence, diseases, and disasters here and throughout the whole world. For those who help and serve and protect them. And for those we pray for God's particular mercy, help, and, mer and help at this time. And for, the, and for the brethren of this holy temple. And for the part remission of our sins. <laughs> Again, we pray for those who bring offerings to our venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, for all the people who are present to wait thy great and rich mercy. For thou art the merciful God, the lover of mankind, and we glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Most Reverend Paul, Archbishop of Chicago, the Diocese of the Midwest, may the Lord God and His heavenly kingdom always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. And you and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in His kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of angels.
Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend the ark of the holy oblation in peace. Unless we appease the sacrifice of prayer, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That to do all things until thou hast brought us up to heaven and hast endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee and to thy only begotten Son and to thy Holy Spirit for all things of which we know and of which we know not and for all the benefits bestowed upon us whether manifest or unseen. And we thank thee for this liturgy which thou hast deigned to accept at our hands will there stand by thee thousands of our angels and in thousands of angels the cherubim and the seraphim, six winged, many eyed, who soar aloft, borne on their wings, singing a triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying.
at the gate we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship. We ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us. And upon these gifts here spread forth. Bless the Master the Holy Bread. And make this bread to be the most pure body of thy Christ. Amen. Bless the Master the Holy Bread. And that which is in this cup to be the most precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Bless the Holy Master. Make him the change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That they may be for those who partake for the purification of soul, the remission of sins, for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, but not for judgment or for condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this rational worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, mark, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary.
of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Our Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, in a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Heaven has for the the faith, the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our call. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call on thee, the heavenly God is Father.
us pray together. I believe, O Lord, and I confess, Thou art truly the Christ, Son of the living God, came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly Thine own pure body, and this is truly Thine own precious blood. Therefore, I pray Thee, have mercy upon me, forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and voluntary, of word and of deed, permitted of knowledge or ignorance, and make me worthy to partake, without condemnation, of Thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and to life everlasting. Amen. Of Thy mystical sufferer, Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of Thy mystery to Thy enemies. Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries, neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the clean soul and body. Amen.
discuss your list of part of your transgression which has been healed. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in return by thy divine power. And forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages. Of
May he who rose from the dead, even Christ our true God, through the prayers of his all pure and blameless mother and the supplication of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, by the power and protection of the Archangel Michael and all the bodiless powers of heaven, of John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he alone is good and the lover of men. especially all those bearing the name of the Archangel Michael, the Archangel Gabriel, and preserve us all, O oh Lord, for many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many, many, many. many Michaels and fewer Gabriels in our parish on this uh, the feast day of the Archangel Michael and we call it the feast day of all the bodiless powers of heaven. <coughs> bodiless means immaterial and so on this day we're uh, uh, not only giving thanks to God for the ministry of all the angelic hosts, uh, scriptures, stories are full of the activity of angels and popular piety is full of the story of the appearances and the actions of angels and guardian angels and other sorts of angels. And uh, there is a great uh, love uh, for and piety towards angels in traditional Orthodox uh, Christianity. Uh, and what is perhaps of the most important for us is it's a reminder, a bodiless means immaterial, and so uh, it's a reminder that the uh, world as we know it is not simply the sum of all the things that we can observe and measure and quantify. We're not uh, materialists. We love the material, we celebrate the material, we're sacramental Christians, we offer to God all the good things of this world and in our life, we make our life an offering to God. We celebrate the material, but the material doesn't exhaust all existence, all created things. There's an immaterial world, there's the angelic world, there's the world of fallen powers against which we struggle and which we may find even rather almost palpable at times in these days. The powers of darkness, the powers of ignorance, the powers of wickedness and evil and darkness, those exist. And there's a sort of a cosmic struggle that takes place within the whole uh, economy of salvation. The Apostle Paul, who proclaimed the victory of Christ, also said that in this life we struggle against these forces in our life. So the victory is Christ's, the end is uh, established for us in the kingdom of God, but in this still fallen world which grows and is in travail, there are forces of darkness and there are forces of light. And our own experience of those things is a real, can be, a real experience. And, uh, uh, and so it's not simply what we uh, measure and sense directly that constitutes reality, but reality is much larger than that. So, um, it's just something that Orthodox Christians understand that the material world is the tip of an iceberg. Uh, 
Uh, you don't see the rest. You don't, uh, you, it's hard to measure the rest. You could ask how many angels can dance on the head of a pin, right? Uh, how, how, how is that possible? But we sense, and pres we sense and feel their presence and we supplicate their uh, intercessions for us. Uh, we call them bodiless powers. They're energetic. They can help and support us. Every Christian ought to have an icon of their guardian angel in their home, and especially when it comes to children. Uh, we think very highly of their, their guardian angels and ask our, their guardian angels to protect them. But uh, guardian angels don't retire when you get to a certain age. They keep on going even unto our last breath. Anyway, God bless and keep you this week. Uh, tomorrow evening there's a board meeting. On Wednesday we have Vespers as usual, 615, liturgy at 9. Next Sunday begins the Nativity Fast, the Advent season for Orthodox Christians, which uh, unlike Western Christians, Advent begins just the four Sundays before the Nativity. Uh, in the Orthodox Church, Advent is modeled on Great Lent, and it's a 40-day fast. It's a 40-day fasting period, so it begins on the 15th, every year on the 15th. Next, uh, this year happens to be next Sunday, the 15th. Uh, so it's time to think about that and not say, oh my, suddenly the Nativity Fast is on earth. Should I do something? Well, yeah, you should. You should. You should uh, pray more, find some spiritual reading, do good works, uh, fast to the best of your ability, and think of ways in which you're going to make this very unusual Thanksgiving and Christmas something that will um, be good for others. How can we be a blessing to others even when we're sort of masked and locked down? There are ways we can. That's an important thing to think about. God bless and keep you all. Of course, some of you are picking up spaghetti dinners across the street. There is no uh, coffee this morning, but there's lots of spaghetti for those who have ordered it already. Give me understanding and illumination. 
Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit, and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion flee from me, as from a fire, as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayer and thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of life. For thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls, O good one, and unto thee, our Master and God, to be sent up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, thy precious blood, my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me a sinner worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory at thine awesome second coming, through the prayers of thy most holy mother and all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my dark and soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to be a partaker of thy most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Grant the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou who givest birth to the true light. Enlighten me, who am deadened by sin, thou who gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving Mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility of thought, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings. And enable me, even to my last breath, to receive the sanctification of thy most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I might glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us now thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master pardon our transgressions. Holy one, visit me in our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy lips like a beacon has enlightened the universe. It has shown to the world the riches of poverty. It has revealed to us the heights of humility, teaching us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom. Intercede before the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou didst receive the grace of God, teaching us by thy words to worship one God in Trinity. We worthily praise thee, O blessed John Chrysostom, well pleasing to God, for thou art a teacher of healing things divine, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, O man. Steadfast protection, protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cry of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call to thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and intercede for us in Theotokos, for thou dost always protect those who honor thee. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compared than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word, to Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, bless Master.